But on the days I feel like I should be the happiest, it just, I feel so down. Like, I worked so hard. I've been working triple time, like quadruple time. It's like doing like 12 hours a day of promos and interviews, doing studio, going to the studio with a fucking root canal, gotten a root canal twice and gone to the studio and recorded music, wrote songs. every single day shooting documentary I'm still writing music shooting music videos and promo and photo shoots I'm putting so much loving energy into the world Sometimes I feel like the world just don't love me back. <sighs> it's like it doesn't matter how much positive energy you put into the world, you're still going to have people who have something. Something mean to say about you. It doesn't hurt my feelings. I don't care. I just think when uh, I'm working this hard, my my tolerance gets lower. My patience is lower. I'm more sensitive. And it gets to me. There are so many people who love rumors. And I'm so happy. I really am because we worked hard and I know that this hard work has paid off. Cardi B, Cardi B worked her fucking ass on. Atlantic worked their asses off. My team, Team Lizzo, we went hard. I'm grateful. I just feel like I'm seeing negativity directed towards me in the most weirdest way, like. <sighs> people say a shit about me that just doesn't even make sense. It's fat phobic. And it's racist and it's hurtful. If you don't like my music, cool. If you don't like rumors and song, cool. But a lot of people don't like me because of the way I look. And I'm like, anyways, y'all, <clears throat> I'm just having one of those days where I'm just, I don't have no time. I don't got no time to chill. <laughs> I don't got time to see my family. I don't got no fucking friends. All my friends work with me. Outside of work, you know, I mean, 
I got like three friends outside of work and they don't even live in LA. I think I'm just overwhelmed. I think I've been in shock ever since the song came out. And I've been like, tequila, turn up and work. And I haven't really been able to sit and just congratulate myself. <laughs> like, I did it. I dropped a song. I said everything I wanted to say. I make music that I like. That's important to me. And I make music that I hope helps people. Period. I'm not making music for white people. I'm not making music for anybody. I'm a black woman making music. I make black music, period. I'm not serving anyone but myself. Everyone is invited to a Lizzo show, to a Lizzo song, to this good energy. Everyone's invited. Anyway, I just want to express my gratitude for everyone who listened to the song, who, who, everyone who listened to the song and watched the video, period, whether you liked it, whether you didn't like it, I'm glad you're here. Thank you for your stream. Thank you for your viewership. If you love it, thank you. If it's meh, thank you, because at least you gave it a chance. At least you listen to it. That means something to me. For the people who just always will have something negative to say about me that has nothing to do with music or the content of my character or me as an artist and just has everything to do with my body or whatever trope you think I fall into. Suck my pussy from behind. Because y'all motherfuckers going to be the main ones catching up. Every artist that's great has went through the same type of criticism. That's why I'm not afraid of it. Every great artist. And I know I'm great and I'm happy, but even happy people, you know what I'm saying? I, tr I strive for joy every single day. I try to maintain, I reach for joy, that's my goal. But on the way to joy, you get sadness, you get exhaustion, you get anger, you get annoyed, you get tired and insecure. On the road to joy, there's all of these pit stops and right now I'm just over it over it I'm only going to focus on positive comments from here on out I don't have time for your negativity your internalized self-hatred that you project onto me with your racism and your fat phobia I don't have time for it Anyways, I'm going to continue to be me. I'm going to continue to be a bad bitch. As you can see, I'm about to I'm about to look like a bad bitch. I'm about to get my wig on and shit. I'm about to go do some bad bitch shit. I'm about to go make some bad bitch money. And y'all stream rumors. Let me tell y'all something. I'm grateful that this song has even touched as many people as it's touched. It's got millions of views, millions of streams. It's on the radio, top 10, Spotify, iTunes, and Apple Music. Baby, I'm grateful. That don't happen to everybody that drops songs. Whatever happens to the song after that is God's will. 
But what I won't accept is y'all doing this to black women over and over and over again, especially us big black girls. When we don't fit into the box that you want to put us in, you just unleash hatred onto us. It's not cool. I'm doing this shit for the big black women in the future who just want to live their lives without being scrutinized or put into boxes. I'm not going to do what y'all want me to do ever. So get used to it. But what I will do is make great music and be a great artist and continue to uplift people and uplift myself. I was overwhelmed today. I saw a lot of things I didn't want to see today. I read a lot of hurtful words that triggered a lot of deep feelings today. And I'm not even going to say them to give them power. But what I will say is thank you. I love you as much as you love yourself. And I hope that you love yourself a lot. I'm gonna keep on bringing this music out. And I'm gonna keep on doing what I wanna do. Just an honest moment. I'm okay. I'm about to go back out here and be around people who love me and I'm gonna be okay. I just didn't wanna cry. In front of the people who've been working so hard by my side. I wanna go and be strong for them. I'm gonna cry for y'all. <laughs> okay. All right. Have a good day, stream rumors.